It's been ancestors upon ancestors that have been protecting this earth. It's not, never been a one generation or a one night thing. The water ceremony of walking with water, taking one body of it to another and releasing it. It has to do with collecting prayer the whole time we're carrying that water. The men are praying for the women, for their strength. As we bring the water to these different bodies and then we release it in the final body, the intention for that prayer is, it's almost like a promise from us to not get in the way of its own healing. And so that water can travel where it needs to travel and heal itself. And we're making a commitment to not uh, be in the way. In the name of Jesus, we bind up everything that, that tried to come up against your land, come up against the water, come up against the air, come up against your people. We bind Holy Father, I need this land. God, Look what they have done to your earth. We're supposed to preserve it. We supposed to make it better than we found it. This was supposed to be Steve Jones Field in memory of your father. And look at it now. We thank you for coming today to this interfaith prayer meeting. We thank you for helping us in every way you have because there's power in numbers. There's power in activism. We have to come together to support each other, to support the needs of the land and the needs of Mother Earth. I just want to thank all of you for joining together to make life better for my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren. You know, I just really thank you guys for letting us stand up for you and do this journey because it means so much. When we think about this present moment, you know, that we must recognize that there's an urgency of now. When we think about the burgeoning climate crisis that threatens all of us, but especially frontline and impacted communities that have been historically marginalized, there's an urgency of now. When we think about attempts to continue to promulgate environmental injustice in our indigenous communities, in our poor communities, in communities that have been locked in two extractive economies, in our coastal communities, our rural communities, there's an urgency of now. Not long after we moved to the Catawba Valley in Roanoke County, Mountain Valley Pipeline began tearing a path of destruction through our ancestral homelands, including a path through Catawba Valley and the headwaters of the Roanoke River. We have to stand up, because when we are a community that's invisible, environmental racism thrives, and we have to let people know that they're not alone. We need to come together more on things like this. We in this together to the end. So we keep moving forward because we will win. Water is life, clean water. Let me tell you about your rights. Yeah, it's time to fight. Standing tall together, living long forever. That's the main idea. We standing tall together. So what we gonna do? Okay, 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 okay,